Hello filmmakers, it is Carrie with Filmmaker Central and I'm revisiting a video I did a long time ago about how to fade in and out your audio. And it's, it's actually really simple, but questions have come up on it over and over and over again. So I wanted to address that so that I don't have to be answering the same question every week for the next four years again. So it's, like I said, it's very simple. And there's a couple different things to note about it. So here we're looking at a video clip. It's one that I, I use quite often for different things. And if we look at how I'm moving the mouse here, when I'm over the video, there's this little white handle up here. When I'm over the audio, there's this little white handle here. Now I can just simply drag that and it Lord. fades in the audio and the video like that. Oh, but wait, Carrie, I don't see it that way. I don't see that waveform. I don't see those white handles. Okay, number one question that has been asked. And I'm just gonna get rid of the screens here. This icon all the way over on the left hand side here. Now this used to be over in the middle. Now it's way over here. If we have our audio track turned down like this, yeah, we, we don't see that handle. It's not there. How do you fade the audio in and out when you can't see it? Well, there you can, but it, it's, it's not easy. So what we wanna do is click on that Go to our audio track height, increase it until we can see the waveform, and now we see this handle again. So this is going to allow us to fade it in and out very, very simply. Now, that's, that's great, and that's kind of the easiest way of doing it. But let's, let's kind of dig into this a little more. Along the, I'm gonna, let's go ahead and make this bigger, in fact. That way we can really see what we're doing here. Now along this line here, you'll see this other white line that's up here. It's not necessarily on the middle. It's right now on mine. It's just higher than the waveform. And this is basically our, um, our volume. Uh, if I adjust this, it's going to adjust the volume of this track. So I can just very quickly adjust the volume this way. Now, if I have this clip selected and I go up to, uh, actually get rid of these plugins here, and I go up to the inspector. Now, normally you may see video, but you can click on audio and you can adjust the audio right here. And this is really handy. Let's also turn on the mixer. When I'm finalizing a video to go out on YouTube, I really want my audio to be between negative 10 and negative five. That's going to ensure that whoever's listening, it's not blowing out their eardrums, but it's not so quiet that they have to turn everything up. Negative 10 to negative five is right where I want to be. So well, travelers, let's go there. Out in Terryall, Colorado. And while I'm listening, China wall, it is mid November. Okay, so while I was listening, I was adjusting the volume in the inspector to get those peaks to be between negative 10 and negative five dB. So now we've got our waveform over here. Again, we wanna fade into it. We can just pull that handle. Hello. And it's gonna fade into that sound. But let's say we want a little bit more control over that, all right. Now we can hold down Option, which on Windows should be Alt. And when I go over it, it gives me another control here. So I can kind of adjust the smoothness. So before it was just this straight line, but I just want to, I want to smooth that out a little bit more. Hello. So instead of this being this solid ramp, it's going to ramp up nicely into that. It gives me a little bit more control over what I'm doing there. All right, let's, I'm gonna get rid of these. And again, I'm, now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna do it in a different way. So using our volume 
bar that we have here, I'm going to hold down Option, which again should be Alt, and I'm going to click. That gives me kind of a, uh, a keyframe right there. And if I come back behind it and I do it again, I have another one. But now I can adjust this one. So let's say I just want to come all the way down and adjust it to zero. Hello. And it's going to ramp up into that. And I can get really creative with these keyframes. Put two there in the middle. Oops. So now I have like these anchor points at the beginning, two here in the middle, and then over here, and I can kind of fade stuff in and out like that. So sometimes I just need to remove me coughing or sneezing or something, and I can get those lines in and then just pull that down really tight so you just don't hear it. It's just gonna disappear. So there's a couple different ways of dealing with the audio here using these, trail, trail. these key points or keyframes. And that one all the way down there and we can restore it. Now certainly there's way more complex ways of doing things once you get into Fairlight, but this wasn't supposed to be a tutorial on how to use Fairlight because it's very complicated. But a lot of people just want to fade in, fade out. Very simple. Again, make the waveform high enough so you can see it. Grab the, the little handle, slide it over. Great little fade in. You want more control, hold down Alt or uh, Option. And now you can have a little bit more control over how quickly it's going to do that. Okay. You want more control than that, then Option or Alt click on the, your volume line, pick another one, and now you can have a lot more control of how you want to fade in or out. So I hope this answered the question, especially on when you're not seeing those white handles and what to do. You really want to increase the size of that audio waveform so that you can see it better. So hope this helped everybody. Like I said, there's way more to it and other things that you can do, but trying to get down to the basics. This is what it's all about. So thanks for watching everybody. This has been Kerry with Filmmaker Central. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.